What is up, guys? Welcome to another episode of UGE Brothers Vlogs, guys. I told you another one was coming, and it is about to go down right now in this kitchen, let me tell you. So today, I'm making chicken rice. Now, I've never made this before. Definitely never made this recipe before. I haven't had chicken and rice in like years. <laughs> So I am ready. This 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 recipe looks so freaking delicious, and I'm excited. Now this, uh, ignore the time. It's like nine, and I'm about to do a slow cooker meal. Just ignore that, because <laughs> this meal is not for today. It's really for tomorrow, and it's only gonna take about four hours. So, just a little bit about this. Now I've already got my liners in now I use these liners all the time I've used them so far since I've used this thing by the way somebody asked this is a six quart slow cooker that I'm using now I use these liners because to be honest after everything's done I don't want to be scrubbing this thing out um, a lot of people said those were plastic bags they're not plastic bags they're actually Reynolds actual Reynolds slow cooker liners they're made out of nylon it's the same stuff that they make a lot of cooking utensils out of and it even it's a synthetic polymer it's it's in the plastic family but it's breakdown temperature is like 500 degrees Fahrenheit your crock pot on high only gets like 250 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit so this is really not anything you got to worry about anyway Couple things you're gonna need just to get started. Rices. I'm gonna use I'm using brown rice for this. Garlic powder. Dry thyme. Some Dijon mustard. I got some gray poupon. Excuse me, sir. Do you have any gray poupon? And chicken broth, low sodium chicken broth. Now I use this butcher's bone broth. This is stuff I get at Publix. This is actually organic and the stats on it are pretty fantastic. It's only got 110 mgs of sodium in it, which is really good. And I used the beef one last time in my roast and it was actually pretty dang delicious. Obviously there's gonna be chicken and some other goodies that we'll talk about later. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started, get everything in my crock pot ready to go. Now you are gonna cook this basically on high for about four to four and a half hours so it's a quick one easy one not that many ingredients and basically you just throw it all in and go and i'll tell you about the ingredients in just a second but let's get started what is up guys so everything is in the crock pot ready to go i got the timer set to about three and a half hours so you got to cook this on high essentially until the broth is absorbed and the rice is tender so about three and a half to um, four hours it should take and I got this all set so essentially all I did um, I made a layer of about a cup and a half to two cups of rice I used brown rice so I just gave it a quick rinse made sure all the nasty stuff was out of it threw that in there I put two teaspoons of garlic powder two teaspoons of onion powder two teaspoons of dried thyme and a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper and um, it calls for about two pounds of chicken thighs. I used four pounds because um, I had four pounds. And so I used the whole four pounds in there. So it's gonna be mostly chicken, not as much rice, but that's okay for me. But typically about two pounds, you just make sure you get a good layer uh, across the rice, uh, even layer. And then you're gonna go ahead and mix uh, uh, three cups of chicken broth with Dijon mustard, about a tablespoon. You whisk that together, and then you just pour it on top. That's it. Set the set the uh, set the top on there. Now I went ahead and sprayed the liner, just as an added precaution, with some cooking spray. And I use this Pam organic extra virgin olive oil. Nothing special, but it's got like zero calories for a fifth of a second of a spray. So I don't know if that means there's calories after the fifth of a second. I don't really know how that works. <laughs> it 
Anyway, I went ahead and sprayed that in there just in case because I don't want the rice to stick. And that's all you do. And there's more to it, of course. There's some goodies we're about to put in there. And some more lovins. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But for now, we're going to let that baby cook. And we're going to touch base in a second. Cool. What's up, guys? So, it's been three and a half hours. Now, three and a half to four hours. Shush. Shush. Three and a half to four hours. Just basically eyeball it. I don't think it needs another half an hour. As soon as all the juices and all that goody good is soaked up into the rice, then you're good to go to add the love, the love, which is the cheese and the veggie tables. All right, I cannot wait. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that juicy, juicy. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm excited about this one. I'm excited about this one. All right, here we go. So we're gonna put, we're gonna put about two ounces of cream cheese. We're gonna put our vegetables in. And I'm actually gonna put a little bit more than two ounces because I actually doubled my chicken. So I'm gonna put a little bit more cream cheese in. Basically, you just put your cream cheese in, you stir it till it melts, put your veggies in, put your cheese on top, let that stuff start to melt in there and get all delicious like and then we'll take a look so about 10 15 minutes after you put your veggies in throw all that good stuff in there should be done so let's get started oh yeah oh yeah good got about a 15 ounce bag of frozen peas and carrots Old school style, like you used to get school lunch. If I can open them. Not blast peas and carrots all over my kitchen floor. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now you don't want to. You don't want to put these in too early. It's the last bit so your peas and carrots stay yummy and delicious like. Okay. Okay. Mm. All right. Let's put you about two ounces. Like I said, I did more than two ounces. Cut into little bits. Got your all oh, your peas. Now we're going to go ahead and stir this in until your cream cheese melts. Then we're going to sprinkle some cheddar cheese lovins on top. And then we're going to put the top back on for about 10-15 minutes. Let that all get nice and cooked and delicious. Okay. Let's see if this works. Oh yeah. I actually kind of like the sound of the uh, frozen peas and carrots as I stir it. Is that weird? <laughs> Is that weird? Is that weird? Oh yeah, the rice is good. The rice is good. Oh my goodness. It's so nice and cut. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it looks so delicious. It's all colorful. Actually, the rice is probably slightly over juicy, but that's okay for me. That's okay for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's starting to look like chicken and rice. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be so good. You hear the sound of the rice mushing? It's like, whoink, 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 whoink. Look at this, guys. All right, so we'll stir it in there. Give it a nice stir. Mix it all up. And you see how that is all nice and creamy. Look at that. Mm. 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 <laughs> it's almost like a chicken and rice casserole. Cheese to put on. 
I guess I'm just going to cover it. Oh, screw it. I'll just use the whole thing. All right, guys. Look at that. Look at that cheese. Look at that cheese. Guys, don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. We're going to put the top back on. 10, 15 more minutes. Let that get all melty. And then we're going to eat some. Alright guys, ooh! Alright, time just went off. It's been about 15 minutes. This looks so good. This looks so good. I gotta whisper because it looks so delicious. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Melty, yummily goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The reveal. It's freaking the Lion King up in this bitch. Look at this. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there's so much love in this freaking crock pot right now. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. Alright. Let's get a bowl. Let's get a bowl. Alright, guys. I gotta get a bowl. Got me a spoon. Let's take a look. Mmm. Oh, look at that cheesy goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that looks so delicious. You see how creamy that came up? Look at that cheese. Look at that cheese. You only see that in like the commercials. Oh my god. I love it. I probably put too much cheese, if that's even a thing. <laughs> Ooh. Alright, I'm gonna put my camera down so I don't make a mess all over the place. Oh my god. Alright. Mm. 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 Oh, I forgot about my green onions. All right, guys. So, guys, this thing came out so freaking good. Looks fantastic. Smells great. And you know, I had to put a little, little, little bit of garnish because I had some uh, leftover green onions from the last meal, and I didn't want to waste them. So I put a little bit of extra, extra green onions for some of that spicy goodness. Man, mm. guys, I wish you could smell this. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, man. Get a little of that orange on. Mm. Look at it. Look at it. Mm. Focused. Focus. Mm. Oh my god. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my god. That is so damn good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm -mm. That is freaking delicious. I'm telling you. Chicken, super freaking tender, juicy, juicy. Now, some of you guys commented, you like white meat, and that's fine. You probably could do this with chicken. But you know what? Sometimes you gotta get some juicy, juicy thighs in your life, and this is good. A little bit of spice from the green onions, the vegetables, and then peas and carrots. They're good. Just perfectly cooked through, still have, still have the snap to them, which is why you put them at the end, so they don't get all mushy and gross. The rice, oh man. The rice is cooked perfectly, perfectly. Flavored by the chicken, mm, that chicken broth. Mm. And you taste the hint of that Dijon mustard. I probably could have put a little bit more Dijon in there. A little bit more mustard probably would have gone a long way here. But honestly, this is so freaking good. 
the cream cheese makes all of this really stick together and makes it super creamy <sighs> and that beautiful cheddar cheese I use mild cheddar the recipe called for sharp may have been a little better with sharp I don't know but I don't know because this is freaking bomb right here this is straight fire right here this is so delicious oh my god and it's comforting and it's like my childhood mm. oh my god Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You know what I might do? Mm. I might put a little sriracha in this bad boy. Look at that. Look at that juicy freaking piece of chicken. All that little cheesy goodness. Oh my goodness. This recipe right here, definitely a winner. So easy to make. <sighs> Very basic ingredients. Throw it all in there. Leave it in there. Three and a half hours on high. It was perfect. <sighs> I can't even see another half an hour. This was wonderful, guys. Delicious. I had like double the chicken in this. So it's perfect for someone like me. You don't have to put that much chicken. Like I said, you could use white meat. Doesn't have to be dark meat. I don't know, maybe you could do something with some other proteins. I have no idea, but guys, this is something you should try. This is so easy. Oh, so freaking easy. I managed to pick up at Publix about four pounds of chicken thighs. About $8, not by much. About the same amount as I paid for the uh, chicken quarters. I got about four pounds of chicken thighs. Now, you probably could get that better at like Walmart, Sam's, Costco, Big Lots, your local butcher. Probably could even get a better freaking deal. A couple bucks for a couple things of spices and then maybe some, some good chicken broth. Um, like I said, I used an organic chicken bone broth. <sighs> so dang good. Um, the sodium is perfect in this. And um, that low so that one is like I said, it's only about 110 milligrams of sodium, so it's perfect. Some of the box stuff, even the low sodium one, has a really high level, so this might end up being a little salty. But everything is balanced here. The textures are great. The cheese, you can't go wrong with cheese. So super cheap, super easy meal, and you can feed a lot of people with this. Trust me. So anyway, guys. Comment, like, subscribe below. Let me know how you're doing on these recipes. A lot of you guys are sending me new ones. Um, I'm compiling a list because I would like to try a bunch of them. I'm curious about it. But this is probably, I think, the next. I'm a little bit chickened out. So <laughs> I think I'm going to try something different next. So I am looking for some new recipes uh, to try out. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to do something this week again. Because we do have that trip in a couple days. But definitely when I get back, we'll get back on this. But definitely comment, like, subscribe. Let me know how you like this meal. Let me know how you like this video. And uh, let me know if you want to see some other stuff, man. Uh, anyway, guys, if you're interested in any UGWE merchandise, uh, you go to UGWEbrothers.com and check that out, please. If you're interested in the Cameo, just go to Cameo.com. Check us out at Urban Ghost Herb X. Uh, or you can download the application. Um, yeah, that's about it. I hope you have a great freaking week, guys, and a great weekend coming up. Be ready, be ready. In like just a couple days, we are flying out to Illinois to make some trouble out there. So be ready for new content. Anyway, guys, much love to you. Peace.